Hello folks, uh, this is a uh, quick tutorial on some uh, mastering and master bus compression and uh, I'll also demonstrate ozone since um, the audio quality will be so much better on this uh, YouTube video. So uh, what I've done is I've uploaded Christie's uh, beautiful song here and uh, it just does a two track master so no stems so let me uh, just play this the way uh, Christy mixed it Okay, there are a couple things here. I mean, it's it's really beautiful, and uh, um, the, the vocal is lovely. Uh, there's one little thing right here, and um, that we can hear on 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 a good system, and that is um, Christy. Did little, Christy did a little cut, and you can actually hear the cut right here. So. Uh, so we we'll want to hear a little bit more of the guitar extending out and then do that as a fade out and not as a cut. And that'll improve that little transition, especially when you're hearing it on good speakers. Now, the thing I really want to talk about is the guitar here. Uh, guitars tend to be pretty boomy on the low end, uh, surprisingly boomy. So listen to the... Uh, uh, the low G on this. Am I loud and clear? Am I breaking? So right here, this low G on the guitar is sort of sticking out. Let me pull up the mixer. And uh, let's put in the uh, kick in the EQ. And this analyzer is great. If you click on this analyzer in Logic, you can actually see where all the frequencies are falling as you play it back. So let me play this again. So look around 100 hertz here. And there's another one up here. And so there's a little peak around 156. Am I but this one around 108 seems to be pretty, pretty strong. So uh, I'm in this, uh, this band of frequencies right here. Uh, so let me turn that on. What I'm going to do is make this cue really narrow. So I'm going to click and drag up so you can see how narrow that band is getting. Now I'm going to play it, and I'm, but I'm going to boost this frequency so we can really hear uh, uh, in a much uh, exaggerated way this one frequency. So you can really hear that G at uh, yeah, it's around 112. So once we've identified that we can actually just duck this down. I'm thinking that uh, the frequencies around this are a little strong too, but the center bad one is right around 112, 114. So let me broaden out how many frequencies we're dealing with. Let's make this a much lower number. So let's, let's widen this out to uh, cover the frequencies lower and a little bit higher than 112. And let's play that. Lost. And I'll show you mine if you show me yours first. Let's compare scars and I'll tell you whose is worse. Sunrise. 
at these pages and replace them. So do you hear how this is much more smooth from the E up to the G? And uh, I think it goes to a B or a C. I can't, I can't remember right now. Uh, but it really smoothed out that frequency. Uh, and that's just applying master uh, EQ to the whole mix. And I think that makes it, makes it feel a lot more smooth. Okay, so now let me give you a little tour of uh, of ozone. As scars, tell you so uh, ozone, uh, ozone seven is designed mainly for master bus use, which means that on our master track here, we insert the effect on the master bus. And so here's Ozone 7. And when it opens up, we can see we've got a variety of, of presets we can go here. So we've got all-purpose mastering, genre-specific mastering. Then actually you could do uh, individual instruments. And then uh, here, uh, you can actually save your own presets or, or purchase some others. But uh, let me go over here to all-purpose mastering first and show you what we've got to choose from as starting points. So uh, adaptive dynamics means that it, if you've got a really dynamic song, it'll look ahead and apply compression in advance to smooth some things out. But you can see all of these different categories, added warmth, bright and overall mix. Uh, here's a general CD mastering one. Control dynamics. If you've got things really sticking out, which is certainly not the case here, you can use that. Crisp highs, depth and clarity. Uh, probably don't, don't want to emphasize the bass. Uh, let, me, let me just uh, kick a couple of these in while we play it. Um, there's a couple that I really like as starting points, and this one called Warm and Transparent is one that I use quite a bit as a starting point. So I'm just gonna play this, and I will kick this in and out so you can, uh, yeah, you can hear the difference. Sunrise, these pages, replace them with our own. So you can hear um, a lot more transparency, I think. Uh, and you can see all the things that are happening in this uh, preset. So uh, we've got uh, uh, band one EQ, we've got that boost. Uh, band two, a little bit of low end boost. You, uh, here's uh, nothing in band five. Oh, band seven. You can see how uh, there's a gentle boost up here starting around 2K. And so so that's sort of the airiness of that. This really brings out uh, Christie's background vocals nicely. It sounds beautiful with this in it. I've been here so long, think that it's time to move. Winter so cold. So, so that's a good starting one that I like a lot. Uh, vocal richness has some interesting effects. Over two, so let's pack our bags and Here it is off. Settle down the palm tree. Is in. I've got some friends that I hardly know. We've had some time. So, uh, you can try a bunch of these if you uh, get this plug in, but really, uh, really a 
wonderful set of tools to use for uh, mastering. Um, let's see, any others? Oh, um, simple glue. Uh, that's sort of an interesting one. This I've used quite a bit. When I've got a lot of instruments, it makes everything meld together nicely. So you see, there's a lot of really useful things. The uh, genre specific, uh, you know, if you are dealing with something like, you know, gentle acoustic, that might be something we could try. Let's let's see what this does because that seemed to fit the description. So you can see how it adds just a, a beautiful little sheen to the, uh, the overall mix. So, uh, so anyway, I uh, hope this is helpful and uh, you know, if you have a, a wish list of plugins, I think Ozone might be sort of high on that list. So um, if you have any questions, certainly always shoot me emails. Uh, if you want me to uh, apply mastering to one of your projects and one of your mixes, I'd be more than happy to do that for you for the class. So you can just uh, shoot me the mix and I will, I'll do some of this mastering for you if you'd like. So I will see you folks soon.